I worked as a handyman on a Cherokee dude ranch for a man named Herb Dawson in the Colorado Rock. Just one week after I left Kentucky, I owed that to Jim. You know, I owe a hell of a lot to Jim. I just don't think I'll ever be able to pay him back. Well, now, first it was Jim and Pat. They were wranglers on the place. That meant they took care of the horses and the stables, took the dudes out on trail rides twice a day, and danced with the ladies on the square last night. Well, we shared a cabin together, and since I was this old boy from down the south with an honest face, as Jim put it, hey, we got along pretty good. I actually felt young around these boys. <laughs> and over her, Dawson. What part of Kentucky do you say you was from, buddy? You been odd jobbing all your life? You ain't in trouble with the law, are you? Okay, mister. Your job around here is to pick up, sweep up, and shut up. Don't get drunk nor rowdy, at least he's not around here. Now, Wednesday's, Wednesday's gonna be your day off. Probably you'd set a ride into town with Jim and Pat, because that's her day off, too. Also, I want you to glue the tips back on the pool cues. Clean out that old nasty swimming pool. <laughs> and every few days, I want you to take your sheer 22 down to the dump and shoot skunks. There's just too many of them. Boy, I sure do hope Jim's right about you and you don't disappoint any of us. Hey! Don't worry about me, her. I won't disappoint you. I've done my share of that shit. You know on the day that you left me and I'll do Sometimes at the oddest times I can almost hear Ellen's voice. I mean, she had a lot of them, but there was this one in particular just kind of swept in and stirred her dust around. She came downstairs one night. She wasn't crying anymore. She sat down on the edge of the bed. She had on this, this blue checkered dress with a tear in her shoulder. She said, you can't do this. You can't be serious. For Christ's sake, you're a doctor. You're an adult. Look, whatever's eating at you, we can get at it together. So you don't want a dog or a cat or a family. I can accept that. Just don't walk away from me with your hands in your pockets. Here, put one around me. Touch it. Feel that. It belongs to you. You're no longer a kid. You are no longer one person. I know I know I know! I can't! I just can't! I just can't! I mean it. I just can't. You want me to come home and put on slippers or something? I can't. I can't. But I tell you what I can do. I can stop loving you and I can leave you and I'm leaving you. I'd sit out in this old man and pick up his seat. And I'd stick the rifle out where the windshield used to be. Now the dump was about a mile from the ranch. It was made up of all these old dirt mounds and tin cans and these old mattresses. And it made this funny looking mountain range. Well, little skunks would come around there and just scurry around all these little paths and all these little burrow ways. They'd just sit up on their back legs like a bunch of little prairie dogs. The magpies would sit up in the trees and they'd yawn, raise one wing, then the other. Well, at first I wasn't doing any good, you see. I wasn't doing anything but kicking up dust and making noise. 
because I didn't know how to use that rifle, but after a while, after a while, I learned how to use that scope and just squeeze that trigger. Pop! Well, I went out there one day, and it was quiet. The air was wound just as tight as it can be. The magpies sitting on them branches just as still as make them. No sound, except for the sound of the one that was sent out to be shot. <laughs> Damn thing was fixed. Them skunks had either drawn straws or picked names. <laughs> he's either a poor provider or he's a chicken shit, but he's dead now. And I'm on him and no, 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 right. Pow! It exploded! And that little white ass is up there and he scurries right to his front door. I better get another round with that boy. And hold still. Pow! And it exploded in his front door looking like an open wound. I'm out of that trunk and the magpies are screaming, Get out of here! Get out of here, you fucking rubberneckers! Get out of here! And two shots up, pow! Pow! And they take off like a lord of magpies headed for church. And I run and I almost stumble over this gray rock. Only it's three gray rabbits trying to look like a rock. You better run. You better run. So I lower the gun, and behind one brown eye is one blue-black muzzle. I got one round left. Don't be afraid of me. If you won't be afraid of me, I'm going to shoot you. Don't run. Stop! And one of them's rolling, the other two take off. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running, and I stumbled the whole way back. Ride, ride on the cowboy. Desirable if you consider what's out there. That little rabbit. Oh, what are you going to shoot that little rabbit for? Christ's sake, you are a little trigger happy and a little gift ready, and that's it, okay? Now let's talk about some of these people. What? Look. When I was 14 years old, I saw the first deer. And I put me a bullet from a 30 off 6 right through the neck to the most beautiful, peaceful doe you have ever seen. Hell, son, take it in stride. Everybody's a murderer sooner or later. Let's talk about something else now. Look, I got me offer right down there in the Cheyenne Frontier days. I got some buddies down there at the TriStar Run. What do you say? Let's pack it up and get the hell out of here. Come on now. Hell, Pack can take care of my shit. They hire another handy man. Come on, you can help me by keeping me out of trouble. Free transportation will take my back. Come on now, boy. Come on, let's pack it up. Let's pack it up and get the hell out of here. 